10 DT eyes on one team versus me as Julius Caesar of Rome. Can I do it? Let's see. 3, 2, 1, go. Our start is bad. We need a better one. The choices are settle on the river or the lake. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 turns to settle on the river or 2 turns on the lake. It's gonna be the lake. Our train, the case AI rushes us. Scout, Dan, Slinger next. How does the world rankings look? A team of 10 versus 1. We found Babylon. Why did it have to be Babylon? Here are the rest of them. So, who do we have? have here Vietnam, Nubia, Canada, Mongolia, Inca, England, Zulu, freaking Babylon denounced us, Macedonia, that's exactly how I feel too, and Norway, that's all 10. Settler to secure a second city, look what I found, an almost dead farm camp, thank you Babylon, that's 130 gold and another 130 gold. I'm so rich, I'm gonna buy, actually no, I'm gonna save it for bad days by burying it underground. Culture, craftsmanship for the build warriors quicker card, please city state don't kill the barbarian now slinger needs to kill him to boost our tree thank you one turn left now we switch to bronze working settler done let's go on to the river hopefully we can settle another city before the ai comes for us many of them don't like us just in time alex almost beat us to this wonderful city spot I'm gonna buy a builder to improve the resources around the city and build a slinger production wise the city is as good as our capital five turns until we figure out iron need another builder for that plug in a goge plus 50 percent production for warriors now we build warriors to upgrade to legions political philosophy next oh the babylonians haven't settled yet let's try and block them one turn until bronze working into archery masonry and then legions a free settler this is so tempting should i risk it first let's settle so he can't the die is cast we're at war with the entire world a free settler and now a free builder settle somewhere close i guess time to upgrade our slingers to archery a campment is next on the list. I keep picking the same pantheons every game. Let's try something new. God of Craftsmen. Oh no, I hear geese. Rome is threatened. This place is good enough. Make Archer. First iron mine up. Second one is being occupied. Okay, without the warrior, they can't take Rome. Now we slowly pepper them to death. My builder, give him back. No, they brought another warrior. He gave our builder back. Your reward is arrows lots of them walls definitely a good idea golden age we're all in a golden age pen brush voice rome might not have any health left but it will never fall encampment training to get a great general first governor magnus to ostia stop it from rebelling god of craftsmen not bad one production and one fate he saved rome thank you geese we will remember this forever second governor pingala technology engineering for catapults another settler babylon what are you doing Soon we're gonna get a great general. We need a battering ram to tear down the walls of Babylon. How many cities do you even have, Babylon? Only three. I stole the rest. Battering ram to the front line. Time to build legions to chop down jungles to build more legions. Great general Sun Tzu will lead our attack on Babylon. Political philosophy done. Military training next. Government oligarchy. Oops, no, almost misclicked. Oligarchy, very important for us. Gives more combat strength. With the five from the great general our legions will have 49 combat strength hopefully it will be enough to break babylon 49 defense oh knights yeah we can't wait any longer rush them rush them with your bodies before they get ak 47s oh shit i forgot about religion two out of five cities converted two turns until we lose that's not good we need to hurry up pillage aqueduct upgrade warrior Condemn heretic. That has bought us some time. Yeah, here go my arch as well. Sacrifices willingly made. Slowly surrounding the city. Oh god, 55 strength. This is going to hurt, but we have to do it. Attack the walls. We will need catapults. Next, men at arms. We killed the knight. My poor soldiers running headfirst into walls. But it worked. The walls are down. The surround is complete. The city will not heal. Our troops need to heal. Another hit would kill them. To lower the defense of Babylon, we're gonna pillage the campus and some mines for money. A farm to heal then another round of attacks another night down slowly the health of the city is falling plunder the trade route babylon is ours fine now babylon is ours thank you mars and jupiter a good thing about the legion is that they can repair so we brought the cleaning crew with us placing a governor to not lose the city we spent all this time conquering our money situation is not the best especially because we need a much larger army therefore commercial hubs need to be built our troops are healing this night just ruined everything you promote 
you stay, you move here, catapults done, more legions. We have two options, to go for the city with walls or the city without walls. It's gonna be no walls, because it's easier. Another settler, that's free this game. If we look at the science of the AI, and I prefer not to, it's higher than ours. A lot higher. It seems that we will need other things than just legionnaires. I know, blasphemy, but hear me out. A plus four campus. Conquered the city without walls. It was easy, didn't have walls. Now onwards, the city with walls. Finally, the catapults have arrived. They will make the assault on the city a piece of cake. One turn left for men at arms, we switch and tag two trebuchets. The Babylonian front is doing great, how is the western front? Oof, Alex came with a big army. At least the settlers escorted, the AI is learning, it's a trap, we could lose the legion. Thankfully we can promote. Fingers crossed, do not die, yes, the archer didn't shoot, we live! Take back the settler, two more turns until we lose, to be fair, we should have lost. Luckily, I settled our 8th city. Now we eliminate Babylon, I no longer have to worry about stupid religion. Victory. What? We lost to religion? How? Babylon is dead, but the religion lives on. I guess because I'm playing teams, his team won even though he got eliminated. Well, this is a bummer. Attempt number two. That was a very cheap victory, I uh, not very satisfying end to the video either. So I went back a couple of turns and I'm gonna try to somehow still win, but it's gonna be hard. I only have three or four turns until I lose to religion. Let's see if I can figure it out. First, we settle another city that allows us to capture this city giving us 200 gold. We use the gold to buy another settler. Then when we settle it means we do not lose when we eliminate Babylon. All fine and easy to say, the hard part is to find a place to put the city in only 3 turns. Most of the map is hostile or already taken. Anything in the south is too far away. So I have to gamble on Babylon with its fancy roads on flat ground. Please 2 turns, be actually 2 turns. And they are! Found city, eliminate Babylon, yes we did it! Builders, many builders to improve our land. A normal age is fine. We carved a nice corner for us. Loyalty is no longer a problem. Failed? How? Mongolia voted against it. Ah, the seeds of disunity have been planted. Barb camp equals 130 gold. And another settler. In five turns we figure out trebuchets. Mercenaries for cheaper upgrade card. To upgrade catapults to trebuchets for cheap. Going counterclockwise, Mongolia is next. They didn't build walls. It's a blessing, I'm sick of walls. Vilnius is in the way, harassing with the horsemen. Let's just take them out. Four men at arms, we're in trouble here, but for some reason we can fix the walls. Magnus in place, begin the chopping of the rainforest, build districts. Government plaza on turn 92, not the best, we should have had it 50 turns ago. Bye bye Vilnius, bloody vikings pillaging my land, fire, pillage, attack, and it's not ours. Next turn, it's ours. Trebuchet is done, now we can finish men at arms and work towards bombards. This is Mongolia's capital, and it doesn't have walls. Lucky us, we have two night resources. Attacking legions with pikemen is not a good idea. Legions eat pikemen for dinner. Another settler. Trebuchets are already a bit out of date. First government plaza building will be Warlord's Throne. 20% production for the rest of the game. We have a small deficit of minus 20. It's gonna bankrupt us in 5 turns. Need to build more commercial hubs. Our saving grace is we're Julius Caesar. Every time we conquer a city we get 200 gold. 5 more turns of life. All we need to do is every 5 turns conquer a city to stay afloat. Onwards to the next city! Professional army is gonna help massively, keeping our army up to date on a tight budget. Commercial hub done, market next. Pingala for science, Reina for gold, level 3 government will be theocracy. Here goes another city, 200 more gold. Fix library to catch up in science. Niter mine improved. They broke the legion wall, not good. The barbarians can now walk straight to Rome. Here dies another legionary. Back at the front, we just eliminated Mongolia and are upgrading our legions to men at arms, no stopping, next up Canada. And it's size 18 capital, so only farms in the tundra. Crossbows, turning back the barbarian hordes. More traders would be nice. I have musket man. No longer losing money, only minus two, all our commercial hubs came online. The English are here. Here goes Canada, or not, guess they have more cities. Doesn't really matter, they're no longer a threat. We continue to Macedon. Alexander's doing a counter attack. Building temples to increase my fate for Grandmaster's Chapel to buy more units. 
units. Improving our second knight resource, Theocracy is our second government. I picked it to make purchasing bombards cheap. Golden Age means no loyalty problems. Civics, spies, whores, armies. Ostia, my impregnable fortress. So many Macedonian and Nubian units died trying to take it, wasting much of their production, allowing us to easily conquer three of Alexander's cities. Technology, refining for oil and steel for artillery, then infantry. Oh, the English are here. Go away, we don't want to be colonized. Better start industrializing. Cheaper upgrade cards, plug then. Upgrading all our trebuchets to bombards. Can they do any damage against Nubia cities? No, they can't. But Macedon on the other hand. A third of the city's health, give or take. How far behind in technology are we? Vietnam 38. We 26. Only 12, could be worse. This is the end of Alexander, then not so great. 3 down, 7 to go. Purchasing bombards, merging them to course to overcome Nubian city defense. Look who arrived to turn the tide of battle, Ink and Curaciers. Well, you're too late. Kava is mine. Let's plug in the plus 100% commercial hub and campus adjacency bonus cards. It helped a lot, we went from 200 science to 226 science, and from losing 45 gold to only losing for. We broke the encampment, but they still have a butt ton of units. The worst are the cursor cores in the field cannons, so deadly. Finally, artillery, artillery. Not normal artillery, super level 4 artillery. It has a range of 3. Nubia can't do anything against it. Geneva has fallen. Whoa, we overtook the AI in technology. Only 6 capitals until we win. More artillery, artillery, artillery. Take Nubia's capital, merge to artillery armies, and continue blasting our way to the Inca. Thanks. Looks like Pachacuti didn't build walls. Nubia has been eliminated. They have so much gold. Oh yeah, after researching steel it's 500 gold. Caesar is awesome. My economy has been shit the whole game, but I've always had money. We captured Inca's capital and Vietnam's. And Vietnam's. And Vietnam's. Only three more to go. The Inca have been eliminated. Zulu capital has fallen. Imagine being this poor guy. All you have is a musket against a tank. Norway's capital is ours. That only leaves England. And they're probably on their own island, like in real life. I was right, they are on their own island. Bye bye Norway, we sailed to England. No more Canada, no more Vietnam. We have landed, let's finish the map painting. I saw, I came, I conquered. Don't think I forgot about you Shaka, or you Rapa Nui. Only London remains, let's end it with a bang. Nuke! Victory! 1 versus 10, not too hard if you're Julius Caesar. Many of you asked me to make a discord, so I did, link in the description. There you can find the save file of this game and many others. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, thank you for watching, have an awesome day, see you next time, bye.